My name is Chimfeka Awoke Ogbo, but I go by Awoke because it's easier to pronounce. Uh, I come from Nigeria and I was a student at ALU, graduated a few weeks ago. I studied global challenges focusing on education and infrastructure. It's part of where the idea for, for this came from. Operation 414 is a social enterprise idea that has to do with combining plastic waste with sand creating roads and pathways more affordable, more eco-friendly, and a way that encourages community building within the different places that we develop. It started in 2018 uh, because at that place where we used to live um, in the student residence there was a, the whole street leading up to our student residence was, was not paved. And so in my zest to do something, you know, just arriving in university, I thought, why don't we do something um, about this? And then one thing led to another, and then I discovered that, uh, we, that, that the reason a lot of roads aren't paved has to do with, with the financial power backing those decisions. And so that's where the thoughts first came. How can we then make it more affordable? And then how can we also find a way that it saves the environment at the same time? And that was where the idea uh, started to form. The whole concept has to do with uh, limiting the amount of, of energy or resources wasted in a particular, uh, let's say, living situation. Um, and then it, it, it would promote circular economy because the plastic waste, instead of being deposited somewhere else to become trash or to become a nuisance environmentally, it's then recycled and used to create more things in the environment that also encourages and enhances economic growth. So in that sense, I think it encourages um, circular economy because resources are being used and recycled within the, the system. These bricks essentially, um, as I mentioned earlier, they're from, they're from plastics and sand. And I know that's, that might be a little bit hard to understand at first, but uh, what we do is we melt the, the plastic to a point where we don't burn the plastic, we melt it to a point where it's viscous and it's in a, it has a good enough What's the word, like texture to be mixed in with, with, with soft tiny sand. And then in that state, it is mixed in according to the proportions. I don't want to get too technical. And then afterwards, it could be compressed or not compressed depending on the plastic type. But these bricks over here have 1.2 kilograms of plastic in them, which should be about 70 to 80 bottles, estimating here, um, plastic bottles, like the soda uh, bottles. Um, and then the rest of the components was, uh, was sand. So that's the bricks. So the bricks that we're looking at right here. Most immediately, the problem that it's going to address would be um, developing infrastructure. So you notice that there are some places in the city or even in this community here that you can't quite have easy access to because of because of the roads leading up to those places. So the idea that we're, the problem that we're trying to solve has to first do with access um, and also has to do with affordability, which means more people can afford um, to, to pave pathways. And when you create access, more people have access to places and businesses have access to people and other businesses. So it just further interlinks the whole, the whole system leading towards economic prosperity is the, is the hope about it. The mission, of Operation 414, though if I'm being honest right now, it's, it's still being reevaluated given how circumstances are revolving. But currently, it's to, it's to develop eco-friendly and affordable paving technology to, first of all, increase the rate of transport infrastructure development and also to bring communities together while saving the environment. So those are the three main pillars. So actually developing the pathways, bringing people together and being eco-friendly at the same time. It's easy to talk about how people are brought together, you know, we do this to bring people together, but in Operation 414, we try to make it as tangible, as practical as possible, because, um, for instance, our installation day that happened a few weeks ago, we asked people to show up to participate in, um, in the project. So in that sense, we have people from different nationalities represented, diff people from different places in Kigali coming together to um, to dig out sand, to bring bricks over here, to lay them in. So in that sense, that's how we bring um, people together and that's how we build social cohesion. And that's, how, that's why we would call ourselves a social enterprise as well. The future I have come to learn is a very, uh, is a very dynamic thing. So right now, as I mentioned earlier, we're trying to now see where we stand, given the, the different situations that have come up because of this project, um, but the future the future right now has two sides for the most part. One could be continuing to create bricks to, of course, and these are, by the way, these are more affordable than the typical cement bricks. I forgot to mention the, 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 the margins. Um, but 
it's to continue creating bricks and selling them within the city and country to see to to increase the amount of access we can create practically. So having lists of different streets and neighborhoods we want to fully like settle within the city is an audacious goal. Um, the other plan is instead of creating bricks right away, we could become a retail type situation where we get eco-friendly bricks, not just from plastic and sand, but also from other um, earth materials or earth components from sand, and then use that to also promote the same ideal. But the future, it's not crystal clear at the moment, but we do know it involves continuing to create, continuing to bring people together, continuing to be eco-friendly, and also developing our environment together as we do so. When I first tried to prototype in 2019, I almost caused an explosion in my house. When I tried to prototype again on a larger scale in 2021, I almost caused an even bigger explosion. <laughs> and so, I think whatever reason you think is stopping you from doing something, no matter how many books you read or how many videos you watch, I think the conclusion will come down to you have to do it. You just have to actually try and do something based on what you have, based on what you can do. Take the risk because if you don't do it, nothing would ever get done.